We've been looking at ratios, haven't we? Ratios, ratios are about when you compare one quantity to another. You can, you can tell I've had my mind on the movies recently. So yeah. just, just bear with me, okay? Uh, Thor and Hulk, they have kind of this, um, what should we say, it's a bit of a friendly rivalry or not that friendly <laughs> rivalry, okay? So in the climactic battle, okay, they're, they're trying to compete for how many, how many bad guys they can destroy, okay? Coming in. So we've got, you know, some, some impartial observer like, oh, I don't know, like Captain America or something. And he, he keeps a careful tally. And this is the ratio that he observes, okay? For every five robots that Thor gets, Hulk gets six. Uh, and the, gets the way I know that, by the way, is uh, this really important word which kind of glides by without you noticing it. Respectively, that's right. Now, respectively, um, you've seen this word before, but just to remind you, what it means is that the order here matches or corresponds to the order here. Yes? So it means that uh, Thor gets five and Hulk gets six. At least that's the ratio, right? So uh, that's the comparison and that's what respectively means. So now we get a bit of extra information about the actual number, not the ratio, not the proportion, the actual number that Thor got. How many did Hulk destroy? Or I could just as easily have asked, how many did they do in total? Okay, so I'm gonna show you two methods for this, um, which are both methods you've seen before, but maybe not in this context, okay? So, method number one. Do you remember we said ratios are just another kind of number you've already met, just dressed up differently? Fractions, right? They're just fractions, okay? Which means everything you can do with fractions, you can do with ratios. So method one is going to be called equivalent. Now, I could call this either equivalent fractions or equivalent ratios. But being that I've, I've got ratios here, I'm going to call it equivalent ratios. Though all the, all the mind like tools and um, processes that I need are all the same as those from equivalent fractions. So here comes method one. Now, what I'm going to say is, oh, I'll stay with it. What I'm going to say is, this ratio here, 5 to 6, 5 to 6, it should be equal to, now I'm keeping it respectively, right? 4 is the first number. 4 represents this first number here, okay? So this ratio is equal to another ratio, 45 to something else that I don't know, okay? And the something else I don't know is, is how many Hulk got, okay? So what I've got here is, this ratio and this ratio, they're the same, okay? So how do I go from five, five to 45? What, what transformation do I do? Um, yeah, Jamie. Since 45 divided by five is like nine. Okay, so yeah, good. So I can, I can do this in either direction. So uh, being that I wrote the arrow this way, yeah. uh, if you go this way, you divide by nine. Yeah. If you went the other way, I'm gonna um, multiply by nine. Now, I actually think probably in this case, going that way is more useful, and the reason why is because I know this number, so to get over that way, I just do the same thing, don't I? Come in. Come in. Come in. That way. Okay, now. So if I've got equivalent fractions here, equivalent ratios, to get from one to the other, I'll, I'll do the same operation, which is multiplication by nine, okay? And I think some of you already worked out. Six times nine is? 54. 54, thank you very much. So 54, okay, now there's my working, but keep in mind, I come back to the question and I want to know, well, what was the actual thing they wanted? What, what question do I have to answer? And that is, well, how many did Hulk destroy? The only number I'm really interested in is this one that I wrote down here. Okay, so I'm just going to tie it up in a nice neat bow and conclude down the end here. Therefore, um, Hulk destroyed <coughs> Done. Okay, so you can see there's just that subtle difference between the working I did to get my answer and the actual answer that I'm after. Okay, you happy with that? Oh, okay. That if there, this Oh. Okay, all right. Now that was, that was approach number one, okay? There's another approach, which again we've seen before. You may remember when we were having a look at GST. It's called the unitary method. I wonder if this, um, this title rings a bell, even if you don't remember how it works. Um, as is implied by the name, the unitary method is all about, well, 
what are the units in this question? Okay, what are the units? So I'll, I'll guide you through this. You see how they said there's five to six? Five to six? So that means that um, 45 represents five units in this question. Okay? There are this many units, and 45 represents five units. Okay? So if I say five units equals 45 robots, Okay, five corresponds to 45, okay? Therefore, I can very easily work out what one unit is, right? In the same way that I did multiply by nine, I'm gonna divide by nine. This is the suggestion, actually, okay? So five units is that. Therefore, one unit equals, divide by nine, five. Sorry, nine. Um, because you were dividing by five. Fantastic, okay? Now that I know what that is, I can work out any number of like if this was 5 to 6 or if it was 5 to 60, if Hulk was having a good day or whatever it is, okay? I just want to go to whatever that second number is, okay? So from line 1 to line 2, I divided by 5. And now what I want is Hulk's share, which was 6 units. So I'll say 6 units. Okay, so I'm going to take that number, I mean this is exactly what I did before, right, just dressed up slightly differently, and I will multiply it by 6. Okay, so you can see from this line to this line, you divide it, and then from this line to this line, I multiply it. Okay, by the way, this 5 and this 6, you can see, they correspond exactly to this 5 and this 6, right, so you can see the same numbers appearing, just in a slightly different arrangement, okay. Again, let's just conclude. Therefore, Hulk destroyed. 54. Okay, now, um, two ways to go. Two choices you can make, uh, or one choice with two options. Depending on the question that you get, either one will be more suitable. But they will both, as you can see, get you that same answer. Okay? So in the questions that I'm going to give you shortly, um, sometimes the method will be specified for you. Please use this way, please use that way. Other times, it'll be like, well, you can do it however you like, at least for one or two of those questions. I'd like you to try both and just see, well, which one ended up being simpler? Which one fit in my brain a little more? Which one made more sense? Different questions will lead you more one way versus the other, okay?